The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Be to you. Jesus said to the chief priest and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. Friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. When you're told like this, you don't have a word. You don't have a word. What does it mean? It means you don't have a word, no stance. In Filipino language, walang paninindigan. No stance. Walang paninindigan ng salita. Walang paninindigan sa sinabi. When you utter a word, you must fulfill it because your word is you. Sometimes out of emotion, we are able to utter a word that is contrary to our character. We let our emotions control us. Remember this, we are not our emotions. Let us not be carried away by our passions. Let us learn to carry our emotions and not let our emotions carry us. Many mistakes are made because we let our emotions, our passions to take over us. We are in Advent season and this season is a season of waiting and preparation and part of our preparation is repentance turning away from our sins and going back to God repentance is not about shedding tears this is just becoming emotional but repentance is about conversion this requires our firm decision, not emotion. True repentance happens not when we cry, but when we make decision, a firm decision to get rid of our sins. Sincere repentance is saying our yes, yes to go back to God and fulfilling it. Let us turn away from our sins and return to God with humility. And let us just do our part. And let God will accomplish the rest. Just say your yes and fulfill it. God.